Start off with the most interesting of battles. Right now, Laurie Heinen, if my math is correct, will be sitting top right now of, of the, the championship. championship. With McKeever finishing up in fourth position at round one. These are guys that came second and fourth at round one, and now they go up against each other in the grade eight. So whoever wins this is going to get mega points. I and mean, one of these guys could be our top championship contender at the end of today. But they go head to head so early in the competition. This is what it's all about. McKeever, I watched him. He was there for the last half an hour waiting for this battle while Heinen was still working on the car does that mean anything does it mean nothing we don't know what we mean is they're both hungry they're both ready finland versus ireland is the first battle in our top eight and laurie heine gives a thumbs up and said you think the last couple of battles were good well, you're about to see something special here mckeever says i don't care who you are where you're from i'm going through your door here we go top eight at round two here we go through the gears down they come this one means everything for the championship right now mckeever doesn't want to let heine and get away behind them tries to escape the grip from Dwayne McKeever, but he just can't shake the Irishman as they fire through. Outside zone three for field, they come down the hill, and Dwayne McKeever is closer than anyone else has been around this circuit so far. Laurie Heinen now starts to put some ground between himself and the Irishman, as Heinen and absolutely fires through, but McKeever is still there. He's out of the outside zone, they're wandering and waving, but the job is done for the first half. Wow, incredible battle between Laurie Heinen and Dwayne McKeever, as McKeever goes closer than any other driver in this competition for the weekend he risked it and it worked out now obviously he's got a very fast and competitive driver ahead of him to, to aim for it just works so beautifully this transition at the end uh, one of the transitions at the end for me from McKeever was sensational but McKeever so close the whole way through the circuit doing the right thing staying a little bit ahead of the lead car so we can see he doesn't get clouded by that that smoke cloud and he stays with him though loses a little bit of ground through the midsection but then he risks it all at the last the last transition for me between these two guys was sensational from McKeever watch gets up close to Parsing I think he's going to make contact a little left foot break boom comes through the smoke up onto the door Heinen's on that perfect outside line McKeever starts to turn the screw and he's up on the quarter panel as they go across the line this is top rate stuff Ian it certainly is top rate stuff Dave and these two guys are here for busy look at that hand movements in the car he let go of the steering wheel completely he wasn't even holding on to it when he pulled the, the hydraulic handbrake he had so much confidence in that car self he knew it wasn't going to upset the balance and look at this slow-mo shots from down on the circuit of Dwayne McKeever door to door with Laurie Heinen. nowhere else in the world do you get this quality Dave and to get it at this speed I mean we're talking over 120 miles an hour sideways which means your wheels are at 130 40 50 miles an hour and you set the car up like a drag car to go sideways that it doesn't want to do. These guys are driving past the grip. It's almost inhuman where drifting has gone. And now we're going to have to see someone go inhuman again because Laurie Heinen's got to do something incredibly special here. He's now had the radio on it and the spotter has told him, you got to go for a Laurie. This is all on the line now. He certainly has got to go for it. He can't let McKeever get away. He needs to bring that chase A game right here, right now. He's gone wide though. He's lost himself. He's lost in the smoke. He's Laurie Heinen and he starts to fall away. and Heinen is nowhere to be found as Laurie Heinen is absolutely lost in a cloud of smoke from Dwayne McKeever as he heads to the wall and across the line. Is it done right there? Looks to me like that was the moment for Laurie Heinen. He went in, he gave it everything, but he got lost in the smoke. He had some understeer. I'm not sure what happened. We'll get a great view of it here on the replay. He's in the right zone, but does he push the front end of the car? He comes off throttle. All of a sudden, he's in the smoke. Look, he can't see where he is on the track. He loses ground, and then he really Realized, oh, I'm in the wrong place altogether. And by the time he's realized that he's lost Dwayne McKeever. Yeah, he's absolutely lost him. And there is no way to gain it back. McKeever is so fast around this circuit that Laurie Heinen looked drop wheels, ended up on the curb, upsets the balance of the car, and he almost straightens there. He has to keep a hold of it. Watch this as he comes through the smoke of McKeever. You see him pop through the smoke onto the grass. Boom way out of position, way off that qualifying line. And I think that is the nail in the coffin there for Laurie Heinen. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more of a of disparity between the both runs than the judges or, or we would have expected. But it goes to show that first corner deciding so much. And Laurie Heinen lost a lot of ground. McKeever making no errors on both of his runs. And now very much looking like the man to beat if he gets the result here because he hasn't put a foot wrong. And you can see just Laurie Heinen, he was hand out trying to reach forward, but he can't get there. And uh, I think Laurie Heinen's probably going to know the result before we do here, along with Dwayne McKeever. The results will drop in. It's for a place in the final four. And it's Dwayne McKeever getting the win. Dwayne McKeever gets the win and goes through to the final four. I think he and Laurie would have known that at the end of that run that it was enough done from both sides. So there you have it. Laurie Heinen doesn't put a foot wrong all weekend and all of a sudden it's just one.